Hi everyone, my name is Shikin. Welcome back to our channel. This is the final episode of the Bioplot Weekly. If you haven't watched yet the last episode, you can find the link in the description below. In the last episode, we already talked about what are the challenges to operate the Bioplot. In this episode, we will be discussing what are the business opportunities with this Bioplot culture. Essentially, shrimp farming is very profitable, but it is also very risky. To ensure the business is profitable in the long run, business should employ risk mitigation strategies. We have seen how Bioplot they can reduce the potential disease outbreak, improve the biosecurity, and reduce the production costs. Apart from those benefits mentioned, there are also other strategic advantages for utilizing indoor shrimp bioflow. In the traditional shrimp farming method, many have relied on the antibiotic to keep the disease away. Improper usage of the antibiotic in the shrimp culture will eventually harm the consumer. To combat this, countries like Singapore and the United States have imposed stricter law on shrimp import. However, for bioplot, we rely on a good microorganism to ensure pathogen and disease are kept at bay. As a result, shrimp farm in indoor bioflot culture are more likely to be healthier for the consumer. The urban farm also shorten the logistic from farm to consumer. This reduces the amount of middlemen in the trade, hence allowing the farm operator gain more profit. Nowadays, consumers are also very good in utilizing digital technology like Facebook, YouTube and Instagram for shopping. During COVID-19, many consumers has used digital platform to purchase groceries. Having both urban farming and digital technology would help farmers to directly communicate with the end consumer. Urban farm also plays a vital role in ensuring food supply in the city area. Also, your shrimp can be marketed as a live shrimp instead of the frozen and chilled product. This is the final episode of the Bioflog with Lee. To recap, in this episode, we already discussed how Bioflog can produce healthier product and how Bioflog can shorten the supply chain. We hope you enjoy this series and hope you have learned a lot about the Bioflog technology. You can always find the previous 5 episodes if you need to view them if necessary. Should you wish to know more about this technology, we do provide courses for those who are interested. You can find the link and the details of the course in the description below. Do subscribe so you can get more information about this technology. Leave your comment or question and we will do a Q&A discussion towards the end of this episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.